Hello. Welcome back. Now before we get started, I already know what you're thinking. Mike, we loved the first episode of Quarantinis. The Lakeview Old Fashioned? Delicious. We've been catching a buzz every night. But what's next? That's a great question. Life, you see, it's all about challenging yourself. Taking it to the next level. And if you thought this show was just about cocktails, <laughs> you're wrong. My name is Mike Roeder, this is Quarantinis, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the elderflower gimlet. Why not? For this cocktail, you'll need your choice of gin, elderflower liqueur, limes, topo chico, and a shaker. Like life itself, the first step is often the hardest. So first off, you're gonna take your hand and plunge it into your ice bag and fill your shaker to about, I would say, halfway. You know, these are trying times. We're stuck inside. You might not have unlimited ice, so, you know, and if you can only fill your shaker up halfway, that's totally fine. After that, go to your gin. I always like to lay the main booze of my cocktail down first. I don't know if it really affects anything. It's more of a spiritual thing. Um, with this one, again, just like the Lakeview Old Fashioned, uh, this is a great drink where if you're new to gin or if you're a seasoned gin person, I think you're gonna enjoy it either way. After you have 1.5 ounces of your gin poured into the mixer, you're gonna move on to your elderflower liqueur. Now, according to the internet, before we shot this video, Elderflower is apparently a bush from Europe and uh, people over there enjoy turning it into a liqueur and then putting it into their drinks. And I say, hey, why not? I got no beef with Europe. Let's try some elderflower liqueur. Let's see what it does to our gimlets. For the elderflower liqueur, you're only going to do about an ounce. Um, so if you have a shot maker at home, that's going to be about two thirds. Once you have your elderflower liqueur tossed in, we're gonna to go to what I think mechanically might be my favorite part of making this cocktail. Let's say that, you know, life, all of us right now, we're experiencing some hardships, some difficulties. You may be feeling stressed. So what you wanna do is take your lime and imagine that all your problems are the lime and you just slice right through it, no problem. It's like that lime isn't even there. So what you do is you take your lime half and you squeeze it, you squeeze it hard. And as the juice leaves the lime, so too does the stress from your body. Allow that lime juice to fill that shot glass up and just let that feeling of calm envelop you. Once you have your ounce of lime juice, go ahead and pour that into your shaker. Then take your top, seal off your shaker. And uh, I've seen a lot of rookie bartenders make a mess of themselves, make sure your shake is properly sealed. You got enough problems in your life right now. You don't need to be cleaning up all this extra mess. You just want to get to your cocktail. So make sure this bad boy is sealed before you start shaking it up. Again, if you're mad about something, something's bothering you, you're stuck inside. It's a great stress reliever to shake this bad boy around. Once you're mixed up, take your receptacle and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Jim Roeder School of Bartending on this one. Uh, this ain't no old fashioned, this is a gimlet. So we're pouring the ice all the way to the top. In the words of uh, my good friend Michael Guccione, this thing's gonna be exploding with ice. Once you're iced up in your receptacle, go ahead and pour it out real nicely. Give it a little flourish as you're pouring it out there and you can just see it already looks delicious. But what we're going to do today is take this cocktail to the next level. It's the theme for today's episode if you haven't picked up on that yet. We're stuck inside. We've all got cabin fever. We all hate our loved ones. Uh, we've got summer on the brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Topo Chico and we're going to finish this thing off with a little carbonated water on top. Give it that spritzy summer vibe. You know what I mean? It's close. This will all be behind us soon, I'm telling you. In the meantime, we can mix up some dope cocktails. Once you have your Topo Chico poured out on top of your mix, take your knife, edge tape, garnish with a lime, and if you're feeling like a fancy boy, which you know we always are on this show, you want to go ahead and take a paper straw, pop that in there right next to it. And that, my friends, 
is the elderflower gimlet. I'm Mike Roeder, and this has been Quarantinis. Cheers. <laughs>